In response to the Alliance Army's plea, Judith has agreed to provide soldiers. To meet up with reinforcements, the Alliance Army sets out for Alel, the Valley of Torment. Unbeknownst to Claude, something else awaits them there. It's so hot. I'm getting all sweaty. Don't be a wimp. Anything's worth it for more food supplies. Move over, Raphael. Somehow you make the heat even worse. Let's stay calm, everyone. Once we meet up with Judith's soldiers, we can go right back home. Oh, I finally remembered. The legend goes that this valley was born from the wrath of the goddess. They say a pillar of light poured from the heavens and completely burned away the forest that used to be here. So you're telling me the goddess, who is supposed to be benevolent, burned a forest to a crisp? Typical. That's what the legend would have us believe, but it's not recorded in any of the scriptures. Either it's completely made up, or the goddess is some kind of monster. Huh? Is that... The time for idle chatter is over, Claude. Look over there. Ah, has someone come to greet us? That banner does not bear the Daphnal crest. If memory serves, that's the crest of House Roe, formerly Lords of the Kingdom. They joined the Empire side without hesitation during the coup. And now here they are, lying in wait for us. Damn, I thought we had disposed of all the spies. House Row is mediocre and vulgar, but I hear their knights are powerful. What about the Daphnal soldiers? You don't think... We've already been spotted, so there's no time to come up with a brilliant plan. Everyone, prepare for battle. I leave the command in your capable hands, my friend. of torment. Perhaps a good place to finish off my life as a knight. Only if that puny force of children is able to kill me, of course. So, their general must be that stubborn-looking old man. He looks like he wouldn't even forgive a sobbing child. It's good we came armed for the occasion. Care to find Judith? Flames are flaring everywhere and burning people where they stand. LL's a terrible place. Everyone, if you don't want to get burned to a crisp, watch your step. What's my strategy? My orders? 
steady now. Thanks. Guide me well. Let's make this quick. Leave it to me. I'll do my best. Let's go. Shall we? At the ready. The Crest of Flames! <laughs> Quite full of themselves, aren't they? Just as I thought. The Professor's army. But it's too late to back out now. In Lenato's place, I have to do my duty. Another one. Another victory. Let me paint you a picture! For the future of Fodlan. I'm impressed. But it's you or me. Fought and won. Come <laughs> on. 
I'm grateful. This could turn the tides. Lament your weakness. the gist of it now. I must lead them well. Wendell is here, and he doesn't look to be an ally. Oh, the hero of Daphnel is here. I'll expect more from her than the young ones.
sorry it's got to be like this. I don't want to fight you, Professor. But this is how it has to be. There's no turning back. I get what I want! Here we go! Attack them from both sides! I know this is it, but I don't want to die.
Sorry about that. How thoughtful. Never let your guard down. Hold me back. Let me paint you a picture. I wasn't about to let you go. You're amazing. So 
I have found a place to die. Young ones, I thank you. I'm stronger now. That old man must have been struggling with the position he found himself in. It's time to gather ourselves and pull back our troops. To think we'd get into a scrap here, of all places. We're lucky we all made it out alive. Don't worry about it. In this day and age, it's a miracle I've been unscathed this long. Anyway, long time no see, Professor. Are you still watching this boy's back? Can you quit calling me a boy in front of everyone? I'm the leader of the Alliance now. It's not proper. Not proper, is it? says the leader who has neglected Alliance territory for years. If you're really the master tactician, you should go back to working quietly at whatever little desk you do your planning on. Yeah, uh, don't call me that either. Who even came up with that nickname? <laughs> it's a perfect title for a boy who loves crafty schemes as much as you do. You should be grateful to the professor. On your own, you'd look like a scoundrel of a leader. Claude's usually so flippant, but even he gets overwhelmed when Judith is around. As expected from the leader of the prestigious House Daphne, her dignity is beyond compare, even if she is no longer one of the Five Great Lords. The five most influential Lords of the Leicester Alliance, they hold the voting rights at the Roundtable Conferences. House Daphne used to be included among their ranks, but division from within has hastened their decline. Their vote has since been passed to the emerging Margrave Edmund. Thanks for the exposition, Gloucester boy. Boy? I will not! Now to business. There were some unexpected interruptions, but I've brought soldiers and supplies as promised. Thanks, Judith. I'll gladly take them off your hands. Hold your horses, boy. You're misunderstanding. These soldiers are precious to me. I made them what they are. I'm not about to loan them out to someone. No? Then why did you come here? What I'm saying is that I'll be joining your army. You're going to fight the Empire with the Knights of Seros, right? Fight for Lady Rhea? Not without me. That's admirable and all, but we still don't know for sure if Rhea is in the... Oh, she's there. A witness saw Lady Rhea being dragged off by the Imperial Army after the battle five years ago. Are you sure your source is reliable? One of my own saw it happen. I'm certain. It seems we chose wisely when we decided to fight against the Empire. But you're the leader of House Daphne. Is it okay for you to leave your territory unattended? And what about you? Is it okay for you to leave the Regan territory unattended? That's... I... I've left it in the hands of a reliable retainer and... And I've asked that retainer to watch over Daphne territory as well. Wait, wait, wait. You just up and decided to get my retainer to do that without even asking me? <laughs> no respect, this one. Oh, you haven't met him yet, Professor? His name is Nardell. He strikes me as a really special individual. And he's quite handsome, too. <sighs> so that's your definition of handsome? No objections, then. Good, that settles it. House Daphne is now yours to command. I'm sure you'd come along even if I refused. So be it. We'll be counting on you, Judith. With Judith joining our forces, we've secured some more troops and supplies, albeit not many. Hmm. I'm sorry it couldn't be more. No, it's enough for the time being. We'll use them to secure even more troops and supplies. The key to my plan is Count Gloucester, the leader of the pro-Empire faction in the Alliance. You intend to sway my father to join the other side? If Count Gloucester were to switch to the other side, that would basically unify the Alliance. 
Then we could utilize our full military force in the fight against the Empire. You don't mean to ask me to persuade him, do you? That would be quite impossible. I don't plan on it. We'll just take his concerns out of the equation. The Aramid River flows along the border between Gloucester territory and the Empire, right? Of all the bridges that cross it, the Great Bridge of Murden is the only one near Gloucester territory large enough for an army. Currently, the Imperial Army occupies it. So, if we were to capture the bridge... Count Gloucester would be freed from the threat of the Empire, thanks to us. But we have to pass through Gloucester territory to reach the Great Bridge of Murden, do we not? Yes, and if we attempted it, naturally he would try to stop us. I am sorry, but I must ask. Surely you do not plan to engage in combat with my father? Don't worry. I want him as a future ally. What good would it do to waste both of our forces fighting? Who do you think you're talking to, Teach? Preparations are in the works even now. <laughs> so the Master Tactician is finally going to show us his true power. I'm looking forward to it. I'll do my best to live up to that name by making my scheme as impressive as possible. <laughs>